Good morning folks. Cathari5 owns this footage. First link in the box is to this video. It is not a meteorite. It is confirmed that a defunct Russian satellite was set to burn up directly over Australia. It did indeed. Terrific article linked here about the furthest planet forming from a parent star we've ever seen. Compared to this guy, Pluto is close to home. The Black Forest Blaze is now the most destructive in the history of Colorado comes on the heels of record heat earlier than they've ever seen it. Keep those records in mind while I touch on other major disasters. In fact, 2012 had 11 billion dollar events, making it the costliest year on record. But back to other records. I mentioned heat, but wet and cold are actually dominating the latest state of the climate report. If you have been paying attention, you know it's all kinds of weather extremes, including that global warming, but that cooling and precipitation are winning over the last year and a half. Minor flood warnings in Victoria, so the cell is set to jump between islands here. Convergent zone over the central state shifts slightly east tonight. Folks, you know the primary quake factor began spinning in hard. As of 4 a.m. capture, he's less than 15 degrees from center disk. He entered the Earth-facing quadrant early yesterday morning, and as B. Pierce wouldn't let me forget, the Jupiter conjunction is now five days away. Earthquake drought has ended. A large tremor struck south of Indonesia. There is no damage, but it did put a nudge to our favorite buoy. These deviations are of no concern, and the same goes off the Jersey coastline. Just a few inches here could have been weather, rogue wave, whales, anything. For Brody, allow me to introduce the otherwise unfamiliar Gong H Alpha, showing many magnetic filaments on the disk, and I had just got done telling someone they were acting calmly when this one let loose. There was no release into space or collapse back to the surface. The filament was lost to the surrounding corona. Folks, the Gakona space weather charts are currently down, but the ace solar wind telemetry suggests the conditions are calming, at least in terms of temperature, speed, and density. Canadian magnetometers are on point and showing the same quiet. Flaring is quiet as well, but trying to come back. You remember we saw the birth of a sunspot, then yesterday I told you she was fading. But she's a fickle one, this region, now fully developed and potentially mixing magnetics between the large outer umbras. Got some good development headed in southeast as well today. Something we only see a few times a year while the primary magnetic connection to the sun remains firm on the northwestern limb, the individual connectivity points are all over the disk, some even wrapping all the way around to the eastern limb. By the time you watch this, the southern corona hole will be near center disk. The northern aspect is here cresting now and looking quite big. Hopefully any quake uptick associated with it will be as benign as yesterday's. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone. Thank you.